Office 2024 is real and it is coming. How do I know? Because I have installed beta version of it. So let me quickly show you. Um, let's jump into our computer screen and here if I open Word. Let me just open it. And if I go to account, there we go guys. Here we can clearly see Microsoft Office LTSC Professional Plus 2024 preview. Which means that Microsoft probably will come up with Office 2024 as we were speculating in our previous video. And if you also want to try Office 2024, then I would suggest you to try it with caution as this is not final build. This means that you may expect bugs and performance related issues. In my particular case, I have installed it in our VMware or Sandbox such that it does not make any harm to my workflow or to my system. So let's talk about what's new inside in Office 2024. So as of now, what I felt is, first of all, it is sequel of Office 2021, which is perpetual version. So this is also perpetual version or one time purchase. This means that you do not need to pay any amount to Microsoft after making one time payment. And generally in this kind of variant, Office generally target those customer who generally do not like to share their information to internet. For example, government organization or school organization or so on. So here you can see there is no connected feature. For example, we do not see voice typing because in that case app require internet and this is the software which is more offline oriented. So here in this Office 2024 update, you will see the latest Office interface. But again, as I said, you know, voice typing or online features you will find missing. Except that I am expecting that this Office 2024 version will come with all bells and whistles, not only with Word, but also with Excel and PowerPoint. So this is our Office 2024 Excel. And if I type here, XLOOKUP, and there we go guys. So here we can see we have got this XLOOKUP function, which was previously exclusive for Office 365 users. So now one may also expect updated list of tools and capability that can work offline with ease. So those kind of functionalities are now being added inside this Office 2024. And now if I open the last top three app inside Office platform, then here is how Office 2024 PowerPoint look like. Again, you won't find Office Designer idea since this is perpetual variant. And here also you will see whole UI looks like Office 365 with minimal customization. Maybe we will see or witness more features and customization when Microsoft Office LTSE Professional Plus will be ready to release. So as of today, company have just announced beta version and that is also not available for general public. So this was a very early and quick overview of Office 2024 LTSE and I hope that Microsoft will add all the latest features and upgrade inside this Office package. And obviously accept connected features like voice typing, Office Designer, a terabyte of cloud space and so on. So you will not see those features as those features are for Office 365 users. If you also want to try Office 2024, then I would suggest you to wait for a while till Microsoft officially release beta preview of Office 2024 for general user. Please do let us know what is your opinion on this Office 2024 preview in comment down below. So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope you find this video helpful and informational. If yes, then do like and subscribe to Technoholic to see more such content. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then you take care and bye bye.